एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑमनी स्टूडियो फ्लेक्स कार्ड्स सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन यूज सॉकल एस ओ एस एल और कस्टम डेटा सोर्स इन फ्लेक्स कार्ड सो लेट जस्ट गो हेड एंड गेट स्टार्टेड आई जस्ट क्रिएट अ फ्लेक्स कार्ड सो लेट जस्ट गिव इट अ नेम एस टेस्ट डेमो फ्लेक्स कार्ड एंड आई जस्ट रिमूव दिस एंड नेक्स्ट so i'm not going to select any of these as of now let's just go ahead and save this so under setup let's just first like you know uh, start with the sql data source type i'll go ahead and select the data source type as soql query and first of all let's just go ahead and see a plain query simple plain query select id name from account and then that's it i'm not providing any conditions nothing right and i'll click on save and fetch so if you see i'm getting the results back like you know as per the query and also if you want to see the same result in the json format that is available as well here all right now the next thing is let's just see how we can you can also write a inner query over here we'll see that in few minutes so if you want to add any condition or like you know any variables that you want to add here for example where id is equals to and let's say if i want to append anything here so account id let's say and this is a string right so you have to provide this because that is how you also write a query correct when you write a query you write id is equals to then single inverted you provide this correct so that is how you have to provide it here and let's just copy this go to test parameters and then this got added i'm going back to an account i'll copy the account id and i'll pass it over here so now it should return me only this account i'll go ahead and click on save and fetch so you see only one account is returned and in the table there is only one record all right now let me show you the example of the inner query that i was talking about so let's say here so select id and name from then uh, the relationship name for contact so contacts all right so this account the account details of this particular account for which i am passing the id and all the contacts that it has it should be returning me that all right so i'll click on save and fetch all right so if you see here the json format it has the account details id and name and also the contacts so in contacts if you see under records right it has like this is the first contact this is the second contact and this one is the third contact that means this account has three contacts all right and have like you know uh, just just uh, focus on the structure that it has right because if you let's say if you want to in this particular like you know sort of result if you want to fetch the contact values then you would have to kind of track down to contacts right and contacts if you see it is it has a different node as records correct so you cannot directly say like you know contacts dot name you will be uh, writing something as contacts dot records and then like you know whichever record you want to access so let's just go ahead and actually try to display this and then you'll understand so for example if i go on build and let's say if i am using a data table so it will show me only the account information because the contact information it won't be able to show me right it has multiple contacts so it cannot display that because the format for that is object object right so it won't be able to display that so rather than the data table let me just do a custom one so here i'm going to search for a text field so let me take this one okay uh, so here i'll take this and we would have to bind it all right so let's just click on this field binding i want to display id if so see the fields that i have right in the setup so it is giving me all the fields but only the fields from the account not the inner query correct so we'll see about the inner query let's just first go ahead with this so id then the label we can here the label is just label right so we can just rename it so let's just say account id and then there are other few options that you can do you can mark it as required you can make it as read only you can put a default value masking and if you want to put a validation around minimum or maximum length or if you want to provide a help text that and all can be done as well now let's go back to the build and add another one where we will display the account name so i'll just so here a uh, field binding with account name and here i would give it as account name and that's it 
Now for the contacts, because we have multiple contacts, right? For this particular account, we have three contacts. But let's say I know that I cannot loop it like, you know, over here. Otherwise, like, you know, I can just keep on adding different text and then kind of like, you know, display all of it. But let's just try to access at least one of the contacts and try to display it over here. All right. So I'll go back to build and I'll add another text. So here. So if you click on here, as I said, right, in field binding, it won't show the contact values. So we have to write it manually. So first we'll provide curly braces. Now what I was telling about the JSON, the way it was structured, right? So here, if you see the first node that we have here is for contacts. So contacts dot records, and then whichever contact you want to add, like the index, and then whatever field you want to access either the ID or the name, whatever you have queried for the context, right? These are the two fields. So let's just go ahead and try this contacts dot records and then whatever you want to access from the contacts. So let's go back to build and then here, uh, field binding, right? So here I would type in contacts dot records. And let's say if I want to access the first contact, so the index zero, right? Dot and the name of the contact. All right, so here if you see, and if you want to access the second contact, you can do that as like the third one, right? The second one will be the index, will have the index as one. So see, right? And then here, again, I'll just give it as first contact name, first contact name. All right, so this is how you can like, you know, track down the JSON if you don't have like the direct access. If the values, the fields are not available under field binding, you can manually write it down and you can access it. All right. So, um, and there are like, you know, other things to explore under SQL. So I, I hope that this at least will help you to get started. I will move ahead to SOSL now. So let's just go ahead and then uh, in the setup, I'm going to remove this and I'll also remove this SQL query that we have written and I'm switching the data source to SOSL. So these search queries right here, we have to mention that what we are going to search for, like the, as in like, you know, the keywords. So for example, let's say if I, so you know what, in my, under my accounts and my contacts, there's a common uh, keyword that I have. So for example, let me quickly show you. So let's say accounts, hold on, all accounts. So if you see under my accounts, uh, these are all account names. Okay. These are not contact names. These are account names. So for example, if you see this one, right, Carol white. And so this keyword, right? White keyword. If I navigate to my contacts, then there also, I have one of the contacts where the name is the last name is white, right? So this is like a common thing, which, because I want to show you some results, right? When I'm using the, uh, SOSL, that's why I'm telling you. So this is what we are going to use, or we can try using like a random keyword as well. So here, first of all, what I want to search for. So let's say I mentioned this and then where do I want to search, right? As in like, you know, under what? So name fields, correct? Or you can search for all these three fields or all fields as well. So I'm going to search under name fields. So wherever in name, right? And whatever objects I select. So in all those objects, the it will look for the name fields. And if this keyword exists, then it is going to return us the results back. So the first object that I'm going to select is I'll select account and then under account, it is asking which field, right? So name field, name field of account. So this is the first object that I've added. We can add another object as well. So here I'm going to add uh, account and name. And okay, here I'm going to add contact. So contact and under contact also under name. All right, so I am, I want to search this keyword in name field for account object and contact object. So basically it should be returning me the accounts where this keyword exists in the account name. And it should also be returning me the contacts where this keyword exists in contact name fields. All right. So this is, you can select multiple here. All right. After this, I'll go ahead and click on save and fetch. So you see here, I have typed the keyword as white. So let's just see what and all it returns. So it, it has written, so see the type is account. So it is telling me that, okay, you have an account with this 
particular like you know this keyword is present in this account name and then just keep on checking at the type and then uh, hold on this is also account but it's not returning the did it return the contact no it has not returned the contact because I'll, I'll tell you why so let's just close this in the result json path right uh, let me select this first or no it should have returned because if i don't provide anything it should but let's just try this first so this is definitely returning me only the accounts okay because i've chose like you know i've selected the json path as account let me see if it gives me the contact right on yeah contact right so if i select contact then it is going to show me all the contacts with that keyword right so there is this one contact and then uh, maybe there's a duplicate one so that is why it is showing two results all right so based on whatever like you know json path path you are selecting it will show you the result but if i don't select anything right it should show me both account and contact that is what i was expecting so account account and then contact see right so in the first time it didn't show maybe i had not like you know selected it properly but so accounts and it is telling me that okay i have this account like uh, carol white and then noah white and then these are the contacts where that particular keyword exists all right now if i want to display the same on to the table the table will not show anything right because table should have like a consistent and like you know one to one kind of like you know struct it, it should basically should be a straight list Correct. That is what a table can take, but it is not. So it won't be able to take this. All right. But let's say if I select uh, account, I mean, this you have already seen before, but if I select only account or if I select only contact, then the table will actually display. So if you want to display these kind of information under build, you have to do the same thing. All right. And when you bind the variables, just ha always have a look at the, like, you know, the structure that it, creates so if you want to access bind anything and you, if you are manually entering right the bind field binding values then always follow the structure right so account dot like you know whatever it is name and if it is contact then contact dot name or you know what let's just go ahead and quickly try so if we see account and then from account we can directly it should basically show us right that uh in the field binding values it should show us name and id for account and it should also show us name and id for contact as well so let's just go ahead and see what happens if i try to bind this under this i'm not sure if this is gonna work directly so maybe let's just try what in all options it's giving or maybe i would have to remove this i'm not sure yeah so let me just delete all of it and we'll do it again so I'll go to build and let's just add a text and maybe, uh, okay. See, it's, you have to manually write. So here, what was that account or accounts? I think it was account. So account.name. So let's go back. account dot name but again right account has multiple records so it shouldn't be returning anything yeah so account zero and the name so see the first account came correct and and also the contacts there are multiple contacts right so similarly and the build just here and then we can do the same here as well but here we are going to take the value from the contact. So contact uh, and then which one, right? This time we don't have that records node, correct? So contact zero dot name. And then you can see this one. Okay. So this is how you can like, you know, make use of these like, you know, uh, field bindings in order to display the data when you are, uh, like, you know, when you don't have like a straightforward, like, you know, list kind of structure that a table can take. So if you have to like, you know, display the data manually like this, you have to set it up like this, then you would have to make use of the field binding uh, property. All right. So this was about SOSL. Now let's just go ahead and quickly check uh, the custom data source. So here I'll just remove all of it. 
Okay, let me just change this and let me see what it does. So custom, I don't want to create a new one. I think it's fine. All right. So in custom, if you have like a custom JSON, you just have to provide it here so that it will be able to like, you know, this, you'll be able to display that. So I already have a JSON I have created, right? Or you can say I've copied it from like, you know, one of the previous ones. So any kind of JSON, let's say you can have like, you know, employee details or student details or any such like you know json that you have you can directly copy your json and provide it here and once you have your json the only thing is that you can use any of the websites like you know json lint or like you know json formatting in order to validate if your json is valid or not all right so once you have your json just paste it here in the custom json and then click on save and fetch so you see all these three are like you know coming as the json structure because that's what we have provided but if you click on table see all the data is already available here and even if you would have not used data table let's say if i go here in the build and let me remove this right and also because my in my json i only have account information it's not like you know uh, it doesn't have multiple objects so the structure is pretty straightforward uh, but let, let's see, let's see if we can like, you know, make use of data table. If not, then we are going to use text. I don't think table will show, but, uh, okay. It is showing, right? Because it doesn't have the structure is like, you know, it will be, it's a plain one, right? So it's, it's able to take it, but let's say if I include contacts here as well, correct. Or any other, like, you know, notes, then the table will not help that time you would have to manually drag and drop like you know based on the data type that are there for any of the values and then you would have to do the field binding all right so and again like you know the same similar kind of options are available if you want to like you know if you are using any of the uh, input elements then you can like you know do styling you can uh, like you know either make it required read only and all of that properties are already available in any of under these four uh, tab options so i think um, you can explore that. I believe that this is good to start. Um, so, uh, so that's it. That's it for this session and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.